How do you store your push stick for your table saw so it's always right there for you to grab and use, keeping your hands safe when using your table saw? Hi, I'm Ron Falk, and this is the Smart Wood Shop. If you'd like to get a detailed set of plants to build a smart wood shop for yourself or one of the Polk Smart Workbenches, there's a link in the description of this video down below where you can go purchase plans and download them instantaneously 24-7, 365. The DeWalt Portable Table Saws have, in my opinion, the best design for storing your push stick. They put it right on the side of the actual fence makes so much sense when you're starting to rip and you're pushing it through the saw is running where's the push stick did i put it there where did i lay it with their bracket here you always put it right back so it's where it should be and it's great access your hand just reaches here you push it through when you're done you drop it right back in that is an excellent design and i give dewalt a thumbs up for doing that really excellent for safety but for me this DeWalt is not my main go-to saw that I use day in and day out for my everyday day in and day out use there's no other saw than the saw stop job site pro it's a big heavy saw it's a powerful saw but number one it has that safety break and I absolutely want that because the number one injury to woodworkers is with a table saw and it's unforgiving this saw addresses everything I need in a table saw. Not only is it powerful and heavy, so it gives me a stable base, it's got that break, it's got an excellent fence. It has a, sh a shorter fence adapter that pops off this side and goes on this side. It's a one button click, it squares up. It's, it's just an excellent saw all over the place, but they do lack in that one thing that DeWalt kills them, and that's on the storage of the push stick. Now they do have storage underneath here. It's not too far away, it's kind of where you'd need it, but you have to look underneath and find it, and you have to figure out where it goes, and then you gotta, and you just, and there. And it's just, you know, getting it out is not that big of a deal, but it, it's just that little bit of inefficiency and clunkiness that I just don't like it. So I find that with my cradle, with the smart cradle, I tend to lay it on the side, also where I keep the miter track, but still I have to sort of look and grab it. It's easier to put it away there, but you know, when I'm pushing up here and then I go, oh, I don't have my push stick, then I've got a, you know, I've got the saw running and I've got to reach under and get it. So I looked at different ways to create that DeWalt feature with my saw stop. And I, I looked at trying to come up with a way to mount it here, but I do use my fence on this side of the blade occasionally. It's rare, but I do use it. So trying to modify this side, I didn't want to do that. So there was really, you know, I looked at laying it on the top, uh, trying to come up with a bracket, but I have features here that I need access to so it just it didn't seem to work anywhere with the fence the way I wanted it so I realized that where where can I put it that it's easy to grab and I thought well I've got the edge of the table saw maybe I could do something with that and then it came to me it was just a simple fix I I have it it clamps right on the side there when I'm pushing through I grab it push through I don't have to look and it clamps right on so it's always right there I actually like that design better than the DeWalt because one, it allows me the use of both sides of my fence and it's just as available and I don't have to think about it. It's actually dropping it into the DeWalt, clicking it in, great. Like I said, it's the best industry design I've seen, but as far as day in and day out use, I'm finding that I like this even better. And all, it was really simple. All I did was pick up a couple of magnets, I got these from FastCap, and I took a couple of big washers, I figured out right where to put them, I made a couple of marks on the side of my table saw, and then I got a two-part epoxy. I buy those little syringes, I always keep a couple of them around. All of mine have to do with wood, 
So I had to go to the store and find one that had metal, that, it, that would apply to metal. And so I found one that was good for metal and wood and ceramic, so it's a good general purpose. It's a five minute epoxy. I epoxied on the magnets, I let them cure up, and then I put the washers on the magnets, and then I put it on the table saw, I just held it, and I figured out right where I wanted those washers to go, and I made little marks, and then I popped the washers off, and I put the epoxy on, and I put them right at their marks that I had made, and waited just a, you know, a few seconds so that they, you know, it's a thick, the epoxy stick, it'll hold, but I uh, put them on there, and then even then they slid a little bit. So what I ended up doing, I had plenty of time because it was a five minute epoxy, I just pulled my table saw out so I had a little clamping room, and I put a couple of clamps on, and then even though it was five minute, I left it for an hour or so, so I think cure, I think it sets in five, but it's completely cured in an hour. And I've been using it now like this for weeks and haven't had any issue with the magnets pulling the washers off so the epoxy is working well. So it's important that you, when you get that two-part epoxy that you get one that works with metal. Obviously there's no wood involved here. This is plastic and this is metal so you want it to work with plastic and metal. And you can get those epoxies for, you know, five or five or six dollars and FastCap makes a great selection of magnets I will make sure that these are in my Amazon store and also if I have a chance I'll put a link directly to them in the description of this video down below so they'll be easy to find if you use the links in my Amazon store Amazon does share a little bit with us but they don't charge you any extra if you enjoy these tool tips focused around efficiency and safety then be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And remember, it's important when you subscribe to ring that bell so you'll know when I put up a new video. Thanks for dropping into the Smart Wood Shop. You stay safe and have a great day.